A video I've been wanting to make for a while is a day in the life of a cardiology fellow, but I realized that you have to understand the structure of a fellowship first in order to understand what we do in each rotation. Now, fellowship training programs are a little bit standardized across the US in that they expect graduating fellows to be competent in the various aspects of cardiology. Every fellowship training program individually is gonna be different based on scheduling, call shifts, what is expected of them, in-house or out-of-house call, and I'm going to go into detail about what how my fellowship program is set up. I'm just acknowledging first that this isn't uniformly what it's like across the board. I also just want to apologize real quick if the audio and video are a little off because my cat keeps knocking over everything and uh, keeps interrupting me. First, let's take a look at the General Cardiology Fellowship Training Program schedule. And again, this is just my program and how we set it up. We have three fellows per year. So on the screen, you can see that the schedule is broken down from the first year, second years, and third years. And this is individualized based on each training program. So everyone needs to get a certain number of months of echo or cath, but how you distribute them is entirely up to the program. Let's take a look at my schedule. So I'm a second year fellow right now. And I could just say life gets a lot better as a second year fellow because you're not on call as much. But again, program dependent. My program front loads you my program front loads you a little bit with your call schedule. We're on call on average every four days as a first year. So that means you could be on call overnight on Monday and then again on Thursday and then again on Sunday and then again on Tuesday. But it is on average every four days. So it's not every single four days you're on call, but on average, you're on call at least twice per week. Sometimes you're on call only once per week. Sometimes you get lucky and you're not on call at all that week. What we do at our program is that you get, what we do at our program is that you get fewer call shifts as a second year and even fewer call shifts as a third year. Some programs give you all of your call shifts first year and then none second and third year. Every program is going to be different. So again, in general, we rotate through different specialties within cardiology to better understand and learn about those aspects of cardiology. In my first year, I started off on electrophysiology. So you get to scrub in on procedures. You get to uh, help out on AFib ablations, putting in pacemakers, uh, and also evaluating patients on the floor and doing EP consults. The next up that I did was echo or echocardiography, where you're in the lab, both learning how to perform echoes and then also learning to interpret them. We also mix in a little bit of nuclear cardiology, uh, stress tests, and learning how to both conduct one safely and also interpret them. The next up that I had was the cath. I don't love being in the cath lab, but it is really fun and pretty cool that you really, as a first year fellow at our program, get to gain access uh, if you want to uh, and are competent in it. You can use the manifold if you want. If you want to and you're competent, you can learn how to use the manifold and you're really gaining access and performing cardiac catheterizations alongside the interventional fellow and attending physician. One of the other things that's pretty common across all cardiology programs is some type of imaging month. Uh, our program really pushes us to do a lot more nuclear stress tests, uh, cardiac MRIs, and if we can, some cardiac CTs. Different campuses in our network do them uh, on different days, so it's really up to you to try to get that exposure. And I think that's a lot of fellowship is it's self-driven learning and you really need to make the most of your time on each rotation to learn how to be a good cardiologist. My favorite rotation is in the CCU or cardiac care unit. And our program is a little bit unique in that we combine the cardiac ICU with our consult month. So we see both consult patients and take care of the patients that are in the cardiac care unit. So in the CCU, you're rounding on your patients. My favorite aspect of this is when you have residents on our service, they're really presenting to you as the attending. When we have residents on the service, uh, my favorite part is trying to act like the attending. They'll present to you, and you kind of try to come, and you try to come up with a plan of what are you going to do and how are you going to treat the patient. And of course, the attending physician's right there to step in when I don't know or when I'm not sure to give their guidance. But at our program, they really give us the leeway to try to be the leaders of the team and take ownership of the patient. One of my other favorite rotations is heart failure. And these are the patients, not just those who have heart failure, but it's ones that require some type of advanced hemodynamic monitoring, 
uh, those who might have some type of advanced inotropic support like dobutamine or milanone, those with LVADs at our institution, we're fortunate enough that they both place and we uh, monitor all of our LVAD patients ourselves. So again, it's a really great rotation where you get to see a lot of the sickest patients in cardiology. All right, so enough of the background of the general rotations. What's a day in the life actually like? So most of our cardiology fellows have to live within 30 minutes. The way that my program's set up is that uh, overnight call starts at 5 p.m. So whatever you're on, if you're on the cath rotation, your call. So if you're on the cath rotation at 5 p.m., you take over call for the hospital. So anyone who needs electrophysiology, interventional cardiology, general cardiology, or heart failure, you get called about. We cover STEMI pagers, so that means that any person that comes in with an acute ST elevation MI, we go into the hospital and care for them. And that's why you have to be within, I think, 20 or 30 minutes of the hospital so that you can go in and help emergently. The other thing that we're expected to do is any stat echoes that need to be done overnight. I get called in to do a stat echo to rule out tamponade, to help and see if there's new regional wall motion abnormalities. Again, something unique to my training program is that we don't do in-house call. Uh, the difference between in-house call and home call is that in-house call means that you have to be in the hospital. Home call means that they will call you if they need you, and sometimes you have to go in. So the most common things that I'm often called about that require me to go in and evaluate a patient is for complete heart block and the need for an emergent pacemaker or not. Now, I think this is the most terrifying aspect of being a new cardiology fellow. And it reminds me of new residents who are covering the ICU or on call on night float. And you're kind of flying solo. You have a backup system. We always have uh, our attending physicians easily reachable on call. So I've never felt truly alone, but you are expected to go in, perform an echo, be able to do it correctly, and then also try and interpret what you're looking at in order to possibly change management of acutely ill patients. But I think what is reassuring is that it's just like intern year, but better, but also worse, in that after three years of residency, you're a doctor. You know, you can handle a lot of the internal medicine stuff. It's those minutia and the skills that come with time and get better every single day. Now, I wish I could do a real day in the life and bring it into the hospital, but I think I'm just gonna avoid bringing social media literally into my hospital. Generally though, my day always starts driving to work, make my way to my office, and often at 7.30 or sometimes at noon, we'll have a lecture or some type of case presentation. Sometimes it'll be a CT surgery or echocardiography case conference. I then check the EMR, electronic medical record, check up on my patients, see any lab abnormalities, look up new patients and consults. At that point, my day normally consists of rounding from maybe 8.30 until noon, seeing all the uh, most serious patients, any new ones. Before all that, I change my first mask, go into my second N95 mask, and then add on another mask to protect that initial mask. And then in the afternoon, after any lectures, we normally see any new patients, follow up on the old ones, make appropriate follow-up, and get out of there by five. Comment below if you want to see a video that goes into further detail about one of those aspects of our cardiology fellowship training, like echo, EP, cath, or heart failure. And maybe I can go into a little bit more detail about what we do day-to-day -day in each of those subspecialties.